You're watching BNC Live. President Biden has extended the payment pause on federal student loans through May. Nearly 43 million Americans were set to resume loan payments in February. Well, the extension comes as the Omicron variant and COVID-19 cases rises across the country. BNC's Jamise Price spoke with experts who are reminding borrowers this is only an extension and not an elimination of their debt. Jamise? That's right, Kelly. Your debt still looms, and you will be responsible for paying those student loan payments, just not as soon as initially planned. President Biden, he faced a lot of pressure from a growing list of lawmakers and organizations that wanted to see this payment pause extended, and many of them citing the Omicron variant and the uncertainty with it. Now, in a statement from President Biden on the payment pause extension, he pointed out that millions of student loan borrowers are still coping with the impacts of the pandemic and need more time for repayments. The White House press secretary also said the pause gives the administration time to manage the ongoing pandemic and strengthen the economy. Now, some people haven't made a student loan payment in two years and say they are not financially prepared to resume a $300 or $400 payment. According to a recent survey of nearly 35,000 borrowers by the Student Debt Crisis Center, 89% of fully employed student loan borrowers say they are not financially secure enough to start federal loan repayments by February 1st. 21% say they will never be financially secure enough to make any student loan payments again. And 88% of those who responded to the survey said that the COVID-19 relief for federal student loans was critical to their financial well-being during the pandemic. I would just encourage all individuals if right now is to understand that at this present time, it has not been eliminated. And because it has not been eliminated, please be mindful to not accrue more debt on top of uh, what you already have. We, we must continue to look at our budgets and try to stay towards our budget as much as possible, uh, especially during this period such as the holiday season in which we're trying to provide for our families and give them the happiness that some of us have you know, put on the back burner because of COVID. Uh, so please do not go in more debt trying to get that fulfillment, the happiness there, and then look in May, and then all of a sudden we still have this debt that's over our head. So what can you do now to start preparing to make those payments in May? Experts say you need to start looking at your budget, finding things that you can eliminate. And if you're still going to have trouble making those payments in May, you need to contact your student loan provider now to see what type of repayment options are available. They're also encouraging you to look at certain programs and resources that are available for those who may be having a hard time to make payments once those repayments start in May. On the campus of Xavier University of Louisiana, I'm Jamise Price for BNC.